I'd like to show you what I've been doing lately. This is a, an oil painting I finished a while ago and uh, the last one I've done. And now I'd like to show you what I've been doing. If I can just aim this thing right. Uh, as well, I mentioned before, I've been doing a John Ruskin book, The Elements of Drawing. I've been doing the exercises in this. It's not as easy as I thought, and I'm glad. I have a, a, a beautiful Etcher Lab watercolor book. To, to work in, but I'm saving it for a reward for myself when I finish these exercises. At least that's the plan. So in the meantime, I've been using this watercolor book I've made with uh, some really inferior watercolor paper. I, I put it together as I showed in one of my previous videos and it's a successful thing except I next time I will do uh, uh, a cover on put a cover on front and back because that protects it better I didn't when I made this I just took some cut up some garbage watercolor pads uh, sketch pads and um, to make them more handleable in size and I, I thought this will be a good thing to use up just for these exercises. Now it doesn't, it isn't apparent when you look at this what that I've actually done anything. <laughs> it's really basic, but it's all about control. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty basic, just with a pencil and with a, an ink pen. And then these are just, this is not about drawing ability, it's just about the control of the pen. This is more control issues. These, these, I, I tried to figure out what he was talking about doing. This is terrible. It took a long time. But what he wants you to do is divide a page into separate squares and then lay a tint evenly so that when you're done, it's all one smooth. Obviously, it didn't work. And then to here, the idea was to learn to lay a wash and have all your your colors, your the value scales equal. So that if you have all your two value qualities should be at the top and then three evenly down threes fours fives and lighter and lighter here I've got nines I'm way down here here I'm nine and I'm up here I checked them with a uh, a grayscale afterwards and I'm all over the map so this is a really good exercise I plan to do this one again and again with different colors it's uh, harder than it looks <laughs> And then he talks about drawing tenderly and coloring quietly. He's, it's all about subtleties and, and teaching washes and co uh, control of your brush and of the medium. This is more of the same. But you see, my darks are fading out at different places along the lines. And... Once I get to the bottom, of course, everything is fine, but that's not the point. So it's, it's, it's stretching me. And so he's about subtleties in drawing and um, with pen and pencil before you go to color even. But, and this, this was a good exercise. I, it took an all, all evening to do this. You take a, a brush, fill it with color and make a few strokes and then as it goes dry you make more strokes leaving white areas then you go back getting a small amount of color on your brush and filling in what he calls the interstices the spaces in between where you didn't get the paint and so you can get end up with a smooth um, area smoothly colored area and 
as I did this snail again and again, of course, it gets better as I learn. This was an idea. It wasn't really in there, but I, I took an idea that he had and I amplified it. So I thought rather than just drawing the snail again and again, I will um, try to draw the reflection. That adds a new twist and a little bit more of a, t of a test to what I'm doing. This was also a, an interesting idea. I, I know that it's easier to learn to draw trees in the winter when there's no, there are no leaves, but um, he suggests bringing in a branch and learning to draw. He says when you can draw the armpits. Yeah, that's right. So that was a good um, practice, a, a good exercise. He also says if you can draw a round stone, I chose a, sna a shell. If you can draw the round of a properly of a, of a stone, you can draw the round of a hill and the round of a bush. These are just, <laughs> this was more, it, it started just being trying to get even washes as before and filling in the interstices. Then I just inked over them. Here, and, and the interesting thing to me is, uh, because this book is just, text. I have a hard time understanding exactly what he's trying to teach. And I watched a fellow online called Shu Rayner. That's S-H-O-O-R-A-Y-N-E-R -E if you want to watch. And he did, I actually learned something that I've been trying to learn a long time ago. And you can't tell, it's very uneven here still. But I'm, he suggests making a well, using a well to put your wash in. I've heard that before, but I never really understood why. And he says that if you leave the pigment, let the pigment settle to the bottom, the grainier pigment fragments or particles, then you just lift off the top and spread what's on the top, which is colored water, you have a better time of trying to, so then you, I would have done, according to John Raskin, I would do this one, this one, this one, this one, the alternate ones, squares. And then when those are drier, go and do the other alternate squares, turning it over and doing it upside down. And I need to put some more coats on here. The idea is that it's supposed to be, you're not supposed to have these lines here. And these little blotches aren't supposed to be here either. It's really exacting. I I had no idea. Always when I've done watercolor before, it's just a matter of hoping that it lands where it goes. And it's that's not that's not the ideal. It helps, I must say, it helps that I have a really good brush. This is a Da Vinci brush. I wanted a Raphael. That's in my mind that's um the ultimate. <laughs> But this one's really good, and so it, it gives me some control. That also tells me that if I switch to really good paper, I'll have an easier time of it as well. But I want to use up my garbage paper with these exercises that are really just about um, control. So that's what I've been working on lately, and... I'll see what it's like when I'm finished. Hopefully I'll have some skill with watercolor. In the meantime, I'm still working on oils and I find them a lot easier. It's a, a lot less exacting to do that. So I'll talk to you again. Bye.